Get ready for an adventure with flying leathernecks. This old movie has everything funny parts that'll make you laugh, surprising moments that'll keep you guessing, and sad scenes that'll touch your heart. Keep your eyes on the screen because there's a lot to see. What makes this movie special? Well, it's been loved by many for years. There's a scene that you'll remember long after the movie ends, but we won't spoil it for you. You'll have to watch it yourself. Now, we want to hear from you. What's your favorite memory or experience with this movie? Share your stories below. We're excited to hear from you. Amidst the turbulent skies of wartime, leadership is tested and relationships strained. The challenges faced by those in command are vividly depicted in a film where aerial combat serves as a backdrop to the complexities of human dynamics. Throughout the narrative, conflicting loyalties and moral dilemmas come to the fore, shaping the character's decisions and the trajectory of the story. In this movie, a commanding officer stationed in Guadalcanal grapples with shortages and the exhaustion of his men, while his executive officer questions his methods. Their clash exposes the raw nerve of wartime leadership, where personal emotions often cloud judgment and decisions hold life and death consequences. As the tension builds, an emergency situation arises, demanding swift action and testing the bonds of camaraderie. Through the lens of directorial finesse, the performances of the stars shine, portraying the nuances of conflicting perspectives and the evolution of relationships amidst the chaos of war. While the aerial sequences dazzle with their intensity, the heart of the story lies in the struggles of leadership and the moral compass guiding decisions in the face of adversity. Through compelling performances and skillful direction, the film delves deep into the human experience, transcending the boundaries of mere action and spectacle. In conclusion, this cinematic journey captures the essence of wartime leadership and the intricate web of human relationships that define it. It's a testament to the resilience of the human spirit amidst the chaos of battle and the complexities of command. The dedication of the film expresses gratitude to the United States Marine Corps, particularly Marine Aviation, for their assistance in making the movie possible. However, casting choices stirred controversy as John Wayne and Robert Ryan appeared notably older than real World War II pilots. The Marines earned the moniker Leathernecks due to early uniforms featuring leather collars designed to protect against knife wounds. This historical backdrop enriches the narrative of the film. In this movie, tension simmered behind the scenes as he directed. Despite his reluctance to embrace its pro-war stance, he found himself helming a project that embodied political agendas of the era. Despite their differences, he and Robert Ryan, both leftist liberals, clashed with John Wayne and J.C. Flippin, staunch conservatives. The aerial sequences featuring Marines flying chance fought F-4U Corsairs added authenticity. These fighter bombers, emblematic of World War II, and the Korean War lent credence to the film's portrayal. Meanwhile, the distinctive gold-handled coffee mugs featured in the movie were crafted by the McFerrin Company, marking the beginning of a tradition. John Wayne, in his generosity, bestowed personalized Wallace China mugs to cast and crew, each adorned with a unique scene and dedicated from Duke. Such details enriched the film's narrative and left a lasting legacy on its production crew. Imagine watching a movie where a character's bravery in the military is shown by the medals he wears. These medals include the Navy Cross, Distinguished Flying Cross, Air Medal with three stars, Presidential Unit Citation with two stars, and a Citic Pacific Campaign with three stars. They all show how heroic he was during World War II. In this film, real footage from air battles is used, making the scenes feel authentic. Even though the movie is about World War II, the footage is actually from the Korean War in the 1950s. It's a clever way to make everything seem real. There's a scene where a character fixes a plane's propeller. You get a peek at how airplane mechanics work. Inside, there are gears that help adjust the propeller blades. This helps the plane fly better, especially if the engine fails. The movie tries hard to make everything look and feel real. From the story to the visuals, it gives you a good idea of what it was like during wartime. These little details make the movie more exciting and believable. Marine Corps close air support dates back to the 1920s during operations in Nicaragua. Produced by Howard Hughes, Flying Leatherneck showcases the aviation aficionado's involvement, known for other aviation-themed films like Hell's Angels and Jet Pilot. John Wayne's character, Major Daniel Xavier Kirby, draws inspiration from Captain John Lucien Smith, ASMC ace and Medal of Honor recipient. Smith's leadership in the Cactus Air Force during World War II, including shooting down 19 Japanese airplanes over Guadalcanal in 1942, serves as the basis for Wayne's role. The physical resemblance between Wayne and Smith is evident, 
as is the parallel in their military promotions to lieutenant colonel. This film captures Smith's heroism and contributions to history, depicting Wayne's character's journey in a World War II setting. Amidst the lush greenery of Guadalcanal's jungles, brave pilots soared through the skies, engaging in fierce battles during World War II. The island, part of the Solomon Islands, holds historical significance, its roots tracing back to the 16th century when it was first charted by Alvaro de Mendana de Nira. During the filming of a war movie set in the Pacific, one actor, although uncredited, portrayed a pilot who met his fate in the intense aerial confrontations. Beyond his stint in front of the camera, this individual found renown as a casting director, shaping the talent in hundreds of films and TV shows over an impressive career spanning decades. Notably, his first foray into casting coincided with the production of a well-known war movie in 1950. In the movie, a prominent actor shared the screen with another legendary figure despite the latter's controversial views. Their professional relationship endured, even amid challenging circumstances during subsequent productions. These glimpses behind the scenes add depth to the narrative, revealing the intricate web of personal and professional relationships within the realm of filmmaking. Nicholas Ray's first venture into color film, Flying Leathernecks, showcased Grumman F6F Hellcat planes instead of the actual Grumman F4F Wildcats used in the Guadalcanal Air Campaign. These Hellcats also serving as Imperial Japanese Navy Air Service Mitsubishi A6M0 fighters were more accessible during production due to the scarcity of Wildcats post-World War II. The movie, though titled with VMF-247 Wildcats, drew inspiration from VMF-223 The Bulldogs, a marine fighter squadron formed at MC Azua and active during the Battle of Guadalcanal. VMA-223, its modern counterpart, continues to operate AV-8B Harrier jets from Cherry Point NC, participating in conflicts from World War II to Iraq and Afghanistan. In the realm of cinema history, there's a tale of a movie that not only reshaped how we see wartime narratives, but also honored the talents of its director and cast. This story takes us to a time when the portrayal of Japanese characters in war films was evolving, thanks to a certain director's liberal perspective. The director, and a legendary actor, whose paths intertwine in this cinematic journey, left a lasting mark on the industry. Their final curtain calls, just days apart, mark the end of an era in filmmaking. Amidst these transitions, one actress's last performance added a touch of melancholy to the production. Her presence brought depth to the ensemble, etching memories in the minds of audiences. The movie's nuanced storytelling and unforgettable performances continue to captivate audiences worldwide. Its legacy endures, a timeless classic that transcends generations. In summary, this tale of cinematic evolution and tribute offers insights into a film's historical and cultural significance resonating with audiences to this day.